Hey guys, and welcome to a Game Spotlight. So we're going to be playing Castle Woodwarf today. This is uh, a game that I believe is free on Steam, and it also has a sequel out, which is a little bit of a, an upgraded version with more content that is around $7, I think. The devs actually reached out to me to play this game, so I'm going to be doing a spotlight here on it. And uh, if you're interested in checking out either the first or second game, you can go ahead and find those links in the video description. But for now, we're going to go ahead and play. I have done the tutorial here already, so we're just going to leave the defaults here. Uh, I have seven gems. I think that I earned from playing a little little bit here, but I haven't played too much and then we don't even have enough to unlock So let's go ahead and we will hit play. You can also see that um, They have a link to the second game here, but we'll go ahead and hit play there. Us dwarves have been stuck in this blasted place for some time now We found this here dragon egg to ward off the evil around here. They get huge, you know only way to survive is to feed the dragon till we improve the environment and flood the dungeon below our new home. So that's the basic premise Let's of the game, go. pretty much. Uh, we're going to have a little camp pop up here in a second. There we go. And now we basically just have to buy things. So oh, you can see we have our coins here. We have our fish, which is food. And we have our, our bonus little things here. So I think I'm going to buy a magic tree. And I'm going to buy go. a lumber dwarf, I think. And I think we also need a fisher dwarf. And a gather dwarf would probably be pretty good. So I think this guy's gonna go chop, the, yeah, he's gonna chop the tree. We do have some money left, we've got 60. Let's go ahead, we'll upgrade our tree a little bit, I think. And um, I will, I'm gonna upgrade all these guys as well. So we've got, uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to get a little more. You can see they are eating their food, but I think we should get some back. And now we have two, uh, two trees here. So this guy will probably go chop it down. And I bet that tree is going to regrow in, uh, in a little bit here. Okay, we got four food. And I kind of, I might want to buy another gather dwarf, I'm thinking. We do have 20, What's so up? I think I'm going to do that. Now we can't afford anything else. And hopefully this dragon will be okay. I'm a little bit concerned. What are these? So that's upgrade home, upgrade environment, and upgrade egg. Okay, so we got to earn some money, and these do regrow, it looks like. So it just takes them a little bit. We'll kind of um, kind of let them come back, I think. Or I, I think they, re yeah, they, re they do regrow. So <laughs> that was just the wood that was sitting out and about. But I think to, yeah, the wood gives us some... Um, the coins there and so eventually we'll be able to upgrade the egg now I think this little number in the bottom there is the time to the next wave so monsters will start to attack us but we have a little time to build up before that happens so I kind of want I almost want to get another um ooh, we might need another fisher dwarf though um hmm. I kind of want to upgrade the egg but our our food is going down so I think we want to keep an eye on that too. I think I'm going to upgrade the egg first and then well, then we'll get another fisher dwarf. Well, we have some time before the wave. So let's go ahead and let's upgrade this and get another, or not upgrade, we'll get a second one. And we can upgrade as well because I think we'll have enough time before the wave. So I might just let these guys do their thing for a little bit and I cut back to them in a little bit. I'm a slight bit worried by how fast our food is declining. Like, I think it's still going down, which is, uh, that's not fantastic news. It's not going down by a lot, but uh, it is going down, I think. So we want to be kind of careful with that. And maybe, you know what, I'm going to upgrade our gather dwarves because I think part of the problem is that they're having a hard time keeping up with everything. So this is our lumber dwarf. And I think the Lumber Dwarf is doing okay. We are earning coins kind of slowly, but I'd rather get our food stabilized and I have to earn a little bit, a little bit less quickly than I worry about having to run out of things to eat. Oh, we should also upgrade the egg. It's still level one and we've only got 43 seconds to the raid. So I think I am gonna do that just to make it a little bit safer. And it's actually a little hatchling now. Look at that. Um, our food is still in the decline though, so we probably want to save up and get another fisher dwarf, I'm thinking. Um, because I think our gatherers are okay keeping th with keeping up with things right now. And the fisher dwarves are going pretty good, or maybe I'll just, you know... So we've got gather dwarves, we've got fisher dwarves, and what would this? This would upgrade their energy and speed. 
So I think the energy is how long they can work before they have to go back. I think I might actually just upgrade what we have so that they we're not losing food as quickly. Oh, and here's the first raid too. Okay, so the raid is happening. Um, oh, and there's monsters showing up. Oh man, you guys. All right, dragon, you do your thing. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be okay. How many are there? Oh gosh, are we gonna have to upgrade them again? We that will take a long time to save up. Oh goodness, I think he's doing okay. He's not taking too much damage. He's only down 10 health and he's killing a lot of things. Oh, do we earn money for defeating the monsters? I think we might. Um, no, maybe not. But uh, we're okay, and we got a little time before the next raid, and he is going to heal up, so that's a good thing. It might be worth upgrading him, though, because I'm a little bit worried. Are we? We're not gaining food yet, either. That's a problem, so... I kind of want to upgrade our gather. Oh, I'm going to upgrade because that'll up his uh, basket size and his speed. So that'll help. Oh, and it's going to take us a lot to be able to upgrade. So hopefully we can uh, we can get to that because I'm a little bit worried. But I just want to make sure we're going to have enough food because you can see it's definitely on the decline. And I don't know what happens if it reaches zero, but I'm going to guess it's probably not too good. <laughs> so let's not find out if we can help it. I might try and hire another fisher dwarf just to help out with that. So, oh gosh, our food is dropping quite a lot. But they're all upgraded, so hopefully they'll start fishing very quickly here and uh, be able to sustain the colony. They are fishing quite quickly. Um, we're just having a hard time getting it all back, and we're down to the 20s, but I think, how much are they bringing back at once? They're bringing back like six things, or six to ten things, I think. So hopefully that'll help. <laughs> uh, they are eating very fast though. So what does camp do? Increases wood value, and reduces resting time. Okay. Increases fish value. Okay, let's let's do that because that's gonna help us, I think. That'll help help get our food up because we really need some more food. And uh, oh gosh, our dragon might have a hard time though. I think we need to upgrade the environment again before anything else, though, because our food is dropping, and I really want to see that go on the increase. Oh, I think it is starting to increase, actually, but we've got another wave coming in just a little bit, so let's be ready to deal with that. Yeah, our food's finally on the increase, which is very good. Um, we're at 100 now. We're not going to be able to upgrade the dragon before the next wave, so I'm just going to upgrade the camp and hope that this works, because we've got another wave. Oh, dragon buddy, please hang in there. I don't want you to get hurt. I think he's gonna get hurt a little bit, but he should be okay, hopefully. Oh, there's a lot of things, though. Oh, my goodness. Oh, buddy, I hope he can handle it, because we're gonna be in some real trouble if he can't. Oh, no. He's having a bit of a, tr a bit of a hard time here. I think he will heal up, but we definitely are gonna have to upgrade him. Okay, he's gonna make it. But he is in dire need of an upgrade, that is for certain. Our food is starting to drop again, so I think that after this wave, or whenever we have enough money, or now I guess, we'll go ahead and we'll get another Fisher Dwarf just to make sure, and then we'll probably want to get um, a Gather Dwarf as well, just to make sure we've got enough going on right now. But we've got monsters on the way, and we probably need to upgrade our eggs soon too. Uh, we did upgrade him once, so hopefully he'll be able to handle this onslaught. He does quite a bit of damage. Ooh. Actually, he's not doing as much damage as I was hoping, and they're hurting him quite a lot. Oh my goodness, dragon, hang in there. We really need to upgrade this guy a couple of times, I think. Oh my goodness. I don't think he was still damaged, but he's definitely going to need time to heal. So let's get that up to 400 as quickly as we can, and hopefully... um. Hopefully he'll be able to heal up. Yeah, because he lost more than half his health in that. That's not good. Oh my goodness. That's that's concerning for sure. That's real concerning. Oh, and we need to... Um, oh, hello. What special event? If there's a thunderstorm. What is this? It's raining? I wanted to, I just wanted to upgrade the fish value because the fish needs to be more, I think, because we're starting to lose our, our food here, but oh my goodness. It's now raining. I'm gonna get another gather dwarf because look at all those fish that we don't even know how to deal with. But uh, we need to upgrade our dragon egg before this next wave gets here. I think we'll be able to because we're earning money pretty quickly, but wow, you guys, this is kind of insane. 
Oh, he's a baby now. Look at him. Look how cute. Oh, but now he eats as much as 10 dwarves. Oh, no. Okay. Goodness. How much? Somebody please gather that food because holy smokes, we are going to starve. Oh my gosh, please. No, we ran out of fish. So you just straight up die if you run out of fish. All right, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to try again, see if I can get a little farther because I don't think I planned that too well. But um, I, I kind of want to... Um, I kind of want to try that again and see if I can get a little farther. And if I get a better, if I get a better game, then I'll go ahead and uh, share that with you guys as well. Once I once I've done a little bit better. Okay, so I started another game and I got a little bit farther along, and I think we're actually pretty close to flooding the dungeon. I'm gonna up the dragon again because I'm a little concerned about this next wave. This is wave three. And, uh, but you can see some cool things have happened here. So I've upgraded the environment to level four. It's now this kind of cool nighttime-ish environment. And we actually have these money-generating saplings down here, which are just constantly adding to our gold pile, which is honestly kind of cool. So how's our dragon doing? He's doing fine, I think. Um, I'm gonna upgrade both of these guys, I think. I'll upgrade... I'm gonna upgrade the gatherer first. And then I'll upgrade the fisher because the dragon does eat as much as uh, 10 dwarves now. And that's what killed us last time. But I think we're going to be okay as long as we can keep doing this. I think I want to upgrade the house next though. Because I think that's going to help us uh, with the money value we're getting from these saplings. Or not from the saplings. Well, yes, from the saplings. From the magic trees though. I think because you can see right now small wood is 20 gold. Big wood is 60 gold. And uh, I think we really want to try to increase that if we can. Uh, it's, right now these each give um, six wood. So we might want to, well, I think it might be worth upgrading this guy as well. But I think I want to upgrade the home value first. So we've only got 100 uh, seconds till the next raid as well. So I'm going to continue to uh, let this happen and uh, upgrade a few things. But oh, also before, before I do that, um, before I time skip here, you can see that the level of the mud in the water is slowly declining. And I think once that gets to the bottom point, it will flood the dungeon. Now, <laughs> I hope the dragon will be okay down there. That, that's my concern is that, are we going to flood him out too? Maybe he can swim. He kind of looks like a water dragon. But anyway, I'm going to upgrade this and continue on and we'll see what we get next, or we'll see what we have by next time. I really want to upgrade the dragon. We're very close to the next raid. And I'm gonna do it just before before this happens. We each has eats as much as 25 dwarves. Holy smokes, no wonder our fish is going down so quickly. So we better upgrade the environment soon so that we don't run out again. But let's see how he handles himself in this raid. We're we're earning money at a crazy amount or a crazy pace here too. So it's it's kind of insane. Oh my goodness, it's probably a good thing we upgraded him. These look more dangerous. <laughs> Um, ooh, they're doing 10 damage each. Holy smokes, is he gonna be okay? I think so, but I'm a little worried, and I'm also worried we're gonna run out of fish again, so I don't want that to happen. We'll go ahead and upgrade that as soon as we can here, but I think the dragon's handling himself okay. Um, oh, and it's like dawn as well, almost. Okay, we got a little ways to go before we're gonna be ready, I think. Ooh, ow, he's kind of hurting a bit, but he should be able to win. There we go. He did manage to succeed. I'm going to upgrade our fisher dwarves because this guy is just eating like crazy. <laughs> I think we need that, so I'm going to keep upgrading, and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So now, Oh, then these are now making five piece, too, which is nice. Things are getting a tiny bit frantic, but uh, I'm glad I think I finally got our food going up in a positive direction, or at least fairly leveled out. So I will upgrade the environment again in just a little bit, as soon as we have enough gold for that. And that should help because this will give the fish value plus one. So fish is currently at six food, that'll boost it up to seven, which uh, will be pretty helpful. But we do have another raid coming up. Oh, and we got something new. Oh, these are now making ten apiece, holy smokes! That's kind of insane. All right, I want to upgrade the dragon again if we have the chance, but I don't know how much that's going to bump him up to, so we got to be kind of cautious. Oh, I don't know. I'm a little bit leery of this, but also at the same time, I want to make sure he can win. I, I don't want to lose him, because um, if so, we automatically lose the game, basically. I think he can... No, I'm not going to risk it. How much does he... He eats as much as 50 dwarves! Holy smokes! Okay, we got to upgrade environment again already. 
Um, goodness, well, he should be able to handle himself now. Look at him go. He's turning into a real beast. But uh, we gotta upgrade that environment quickly here because that food drop is quite significant. Oh, he's pretty, he's pretty strong though. He's handling it like a champ. Uh, I'm not too worried about him here. Well, yeah, uh, okay, I'm still, I'm always gonna worry about the little guy, I think. <laughs> uh, even as he gets to be not so little. But let's uh, keep boosting environment, because first of all, that's what's going to enable us to flood the dungeon. And second of all, we need more food, because... Oh! Oh! Hold on! <gasps> Did we do it? Oh! Oh, wow! We've got, like, a dwarf statue over there now. That's pretty cool. These are now making 20 apiece, and we're very, very close to flooding the dungeon, it looks like. I think we just need to hit that 6,000 mark there. Um, but maybe let's... Um, how are we doing food-wise? I'm gonna upgrade our um, fisher doors, maybe? Or maybe I'll get another one. <laughs> I think I'll do that because it seems like we're keeping up with the gatherer dwarves pretty well. So I'm not too worried about that. I just want to make sure. Oh yeah, because our food is definitely on the decline. Oh, but I think this will enable us to to, um, to succeed there. Let's make the, the house a little bit bigger too. And what we need probably is more lumberjacks and upgraded lumberjacks. And I'll get another gatherer dwarf as well because I think that will help us. So we're doing pretty well, I think. But uh, we do need to... Um, to boost up both the house and the environment a little bit more, I think. Uh, the more that we can get for each wood is going to be good. So we've got 30 gold for small and 90 for big, which is kind of insane. But uh, we can we can go we can go bigger. So we can get it up to 35. And there we go. So now it's 35 and 105. That's going to help us quite a lot. We got like a regular castle up there now. Um, now I want to boost the environment again before we do more with the dragon, I think. So I hope he can hold his own here because I could be making a very big mistake. Um, shall we get another Lumber Dwarf? Let's get another Lumber Dwarf because I think our gatherers are keeping up pretty well. And I kind of want to uh, earn more income if possible. So let's add another sapling as well. And I think we'll go ahead and upgrade this as soon as we can. Maybe we should upgrade the dragon. Uh, he's gonna eat as much as, like, a hundred dwarves, though. <laughs> I don't know if we can upgrade the dragon at this point. I think, let's wait for the environment, and then as soon as possible, oh, these are now making 30 apiece, let's upgrade the dragon now that we've got a little bit more, uh, upgraded environment. Oh, please earn enough. <laughs> I want to do this before the wave starts. It's kind of, I don't think we're gonna make it, though. Well, we might make it. It's kind of a race against time here. Are we going to be able to do it? Yes, we are. All right, we got our dragon upgraded. He eats as much as 75 dwarves. Okay, that wasn't actually as bad as I feared it was going to be. So let's continue on. And we need to start upgrading some of these guys, I think. I'm going to upgrade our uh, lumber dwarves. Oh, look, he breathes fire now. That's so cool. Oh, careful. He breathes fire and he bites. Okay, some of them are damaging him, but he's keeping them back fairly well. Ooh, well, he is, yeah, he's doing a pretty good job. I need to not worry as much about him as I do, actually. Um, I'm gonna boost the Lumber Dwarves again so that we can keep earning income, and then I'll boost the trees as well, and maybe purchase another one. <laughs> and I think, yeah, he's one. All right, we'll let the dragon rest up, and we should be able to, we can get another gatherer, but I don't think we're actually having trouble with that right now. So let's, um... Are we doing okay with that? I think we're doing fine with the gatherers. I, like, they're not struggling too much from what I'm seeing. So, as long as they're doing okay, we don't really need to upgrade them. Let's just, um, maybe boost this when we have the chance. And we will want to boost the dragon's health as well, which I think will bump him up to about, uh, 100 dwarves worth of food, probably. So, we do need to have that coming in, but we've got quite a, quite a buffer if we need to. So we should be okay. It's either going to be 100 or 150 is my prediction. And look at our gold hoard right there. It's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So we're, we're definitely, we got quite the income coming in here. Let's uh, boost him. So now he eats as much as 100. Look how cool he looks. Dang. Oh, 
He is uh, eating pretty fast though, so we are boosting it, but we could definitely stand to boost environment again, which I think it'll probably be at level 10 that we actually win. So I'm gonna hang tight for a little bit and uh, just let these guys do their jobs until we can start upgrading more things. Oh, look how pretty everything is, you guys. Oh, and we're now getting 50 gold per sapling. That's insane. But uh, we're doing pretty well. Oh, man, I hope our dragon holds out, though. I think he should be able to. But uh, we've got another raid coming in, and I think if we can upgrade one more time, we'll be able to flood the dungeon. So I kind of just want to upgrade the dragon, I think, and then um, upgrade, the, <laughs> upgrade the environment one more time. I don't think we necessarily need to upgrade our home again, although it would be kind of cool to see. Let's upgrade the dragon. Oh, he's so cool! Oh my goodness, but how much does he eat now? Um, 150 dwarves, oh my goodness, okay, um, y'all need to step up your game, I think. Uh, let's boost these. He should be able to hold his own pretty well, I'm not too concerned. He's got 2,000 health, but he is eating food like an absolute madman, so we definitely need to get that environment boosted. Maybe get, uh, maybe get a couple more fisher dwarves, too just to keep up with that because he's kind of um gonna overpower them if we're not careful so i probably may i maybe should have just waited but i want to try and slow down his uh his food consumption uh it, or his actually draining the food supply as much as i possibly can i think we're kind of counterbalancing it now but i think it's still on a, a general downward trend oh actually we got it up a little bit though Maybe it's not as bad as I thought it was. Um, but in any case, we should be able to upgrade the environment here. And um, I think that's actually the last thing we're going to need to do here is upgrade the environment. And then we'll be able to flood the dungeon. I hope our little dragon is okay. I mean, I guess our gold horde and saplings are down here too. So maybe these guys wouldn't flood it unless they knew that it would all be okay somehow. Or maybe when it falls down, it'll just block that off. But let's go ahead and see. Is this... Oh no, it keeps going, so we gotta go up another level here, but they're earning money so quickly. Um, I'm gonna let these guys keep going, and um, yeah, we'll see uh, <laughs> We'll see what we can do next. We'll, we'll see how, how things go here. Oh, so we've hit maximum level for our, um, our fisher dwarves now. The only thing we can do is actually get more of them. And I wonder if there's a max number we can have, because I really want to make sure this dragon stays fed. And we're probably going to have to upgrade him again here, so I think we need to uh, need to do as much as we can towards that, because we've got, uh, like, a few seconds before the next raid. So, oh, look, he's got wings now, so hopefully he will be able to escape. I'm just sitting here worrying about what's going to happen to him when uh, we get the dungeon flooded here, because I think we're going to do that on our next level up. Um, we've actually gotten to maximum for everything else, though, so... I think this will be the this will be the time. I'm pretty sure. Let's just uh, level that up to max and see if um, if we're gonna be able to upgrade this in the very near future. I think he'll handle the raid like a champ. It looks like, and uh, I think we're still managing to feed him fairly well. It's probably not worth buying another Fisher Dwarf. I think we'll just wait for that sweet 40,000 when we should be able to flood the dungeon. And it looks like we'll actually be there pretty soon. So I'll see you guys when that happens. And here we are. Our Gold Horde has almost filled the cavern. The dragon is like almost about to topple into it. And we can get that uh, 40,000. <gasps> here we go, you guys. Look at that. <laughs> the water's flooding in. And it looks like it's not going to flood our chamber. Yeah, okay, so it didn't flood our little chamber. It, um, it just, uh, it just got there. Okay, so... We got a score of 43. I don't know. I guess we didn't do too great. <laughs> oh, well, well, in any case, uh, it was fun, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it too. Again, if you want to check out this game or check out the sequel, you'll be able to find links to those in the video description. Uh, thanks again to the devs for asking me to do this video and sending me a key, and uh, yeah, I will uh, see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, until next time, this is Jay, over and out.